understand the rules that you're fighting to, yeah? Take tough at all times, obey my commands at all times. Do you have any questions? Touch gloves if you like, push back. Something Dutch. you don't expect to hear Dutch. from the Thai Dutch. Terminator. Dutch. Said he's a little bit nervous Dutch. about this fight. Says it's a 50-50 proposition. It could go either way. It, this is a very interesting fight, and this is why I think uh, this could be the fight of the night and the fight I've been most excited for. Our last fight featuring Morales' victory sh saw a lot of power punches. This fight should show a lot of power kicks and power knees. And it's going to be from a lot of those power kicks are going to come from Tong Chai. And he's looking to already slow Myrtle down with those low kicks. But Myrtle's going to want to get on the inside and see if he can expose Tong Chai's boxing. Because Thais traditionally don't box much because the scoring in Thailand is based on kicks and knees. So they hold their boxing back. Punches aren't scored as highly in, in Muay Thai as kicks are, correct? That's correct. So you're going to see Tong Cha have really solid kicks. And especially from his camp in Sitsong Pinong, they're known for, for being power kickers. We talked about Myrtle Gruenhardt sometimes lacking focus. How about Tong Chai, who has very notice, notably in Thailand, it's in the front pages of the paper, has run out of camp sometime to go gamble on chicken fighting. He leaves camp, they can't find him for a few days, they finally wrangle him back in. He has an addiction to chicken fighting on the back streets of Thailand. It's probably interesting for him. He's been fighting since he's been 10 years old, so he needs that excitement outside of the training as well. So I can see why he'd, he'd be addicted to it. I don't think there is, at least I hope there isn't, a lot of underground chicken fighting clubs here in Chicago. So hopefully he didn't get into much trouble last night. He looks fresh right now here against Myrtle Gruenhardt halfway through round one. Those inside knees of Tong Chai do a lot of damage, and once he's on the inside, he does really well. Hold him, okay? You are not here to hold. You're here to fight. You both understand. Yeah? Time in. Fight! And a couple of punches land from Gruenhardt, and that right hand sweeps right across Tong Chai's face. Speaking to referee Paul Nichols, he knows right. this fight's going to have a could have a lot of clinching because of Tong Chai, so he's really establishing a no clinch rule right away. You can clinch and hold in Muay Thai. In fact, that's where a lot of the right. damage is done. You can clinch in glory, but you got to initiate a knee strike right away. It's been a sloppy opening round for sure. What? Tong Chai's kicks, I think they're hurting Myrtle. And those knees on the inside. Oh, Myrtle gets knocked back against the rope. Right. Hard round to score. It's been so such a start and stop affair. You don't see that a lot in glory kickboxing. A right hand lands from Tong Chai. Tong Chai's looking very impressive, especially with those. And that may have been a low blow as Bertle goes down to one knee. And you have to remember, Tong Chai doesn't really know English. Public warning number one. Public warning number one. You're holding. Okay? Next time I deduct a point. Let's take a look at this knee. Tong Chai says I got him right in the stomach. It's hard to tell sometimes with the angles because sometimes it's the, the shin goes under and could hit the cup and the cup vibrates uh, the genitalia there. <laughs> I'm in. What? Well said. Tong Chai trying to mow Gruenhardt down who meets him with a straight right hand. And look at Tong Chai just trying to bully Gruenhardt right now. That's what Murdo And now they're open. Punches. Tong Chai can't get caught up in that style of fighting. Enough of the patience. Let your hands and feet go, and that's what Gruenhardt did. Yeah, Tong Chai's walking right in, trying to get on the insides to throw those knees, and Myrtle had enough of it and started throwing nice straight punches as Tong Chai was coming in. And he's got to throw those punches in bunches, and that's what he's doing as Tong Chai keeps coming forward. But he needs to stay tight. He needs to slow the fight down. This is Myrtle's game if he wants to sit in the pocket and exchange boxing. Forget technique. This is a street fight, ladies and gentlemen.
And Tong Chai, as wobbled as he was, is already out of his corner, chomping at the bit, going right after Myrtle again. The Thai Terminator. And Tong Chai was winning that round until Myrtle really utilized those straight punches, drawing Tong Chai in. So, time, time, time. That's it. I call time. One point. One point. One point. Neutral. There's referee Paul Nichols deducting a point. Really want to establish the control, but Myrtle really showing. Let's see if we can see a little better angle here. No, it's referee calling the stop, and that's why he deducted the point. Well, Grunhardt certainly yeah. sold it. Sometimes you have to do that. Let's see if Myrtle comes back the same Money. way he did last Money. time he was hurt. So Tong Chai perhaps losing the first round and now a point behind in the second. The flying knee. And you could just feel the hate between these two fighters. I'm surprised Tong Chai keeps walking in like that. When he was keeping his distance and throwing those low kicks is when he was doing the, the most damage and being most right. successful. Right. right. But now he's he's fighting Myrtle's right. fight and th this is what Myrtle wants. Right. Right. It's been sloppy. It's been violent. It's been entertaining. Right. Let go. Fight. His trainer told us how nasty Tong Chai could be, and it's been on display in this fight. Throwing knees after the bell, holding, clinching. And Myrtle's such a, a tall fighter, so Tong Chai is having a hard time on getting those knees above the waist, and could be the height differential. Could be a, a few different things, but he's got to stay out of that clinch. He needs to throw those kicks on the Ooh. outside. Boy, Myrtle set up that right hand, but it just missed. No strikes. Right. What? And you can tell, oh, Myrtle turned his back on his opponent. That's a huge no-no in any sport, much less fighting. Hong Chai needs to kick. Don't know why he's continually trying to walk in and use his knees. And there's a kick he asked for, a high kick from Tong Chai. But it was his low kicks, and then he's closing distance by jumping in with his knees. And then he's going to constantly get warned for being in the clinch. Let's see whose fitness level is higher. They're already exhausted, you can tell. We still have a full round to go. Right. Runhart, a former title challenger, believes he can get back to that spot very soon. How soon, you ask? Well, he told us earlier this week. Um, the predictions of the uh, how it will go this year will be, uh, uh, of course, me winning against Tong, Tong Chai. Um, after I win from Tong Chai, there will be another, an, uh, the two guys, Yong Konglo and um, Cedric Dumbe, will fight in March against each other. And in my opinion, um, I think Cedric of, uh, what's his name again? Johan Konglo will win the fight uh, because he already won twice from uh, Cedric Dumbe and Johan Konglo will face me and I already beat Johan Konglo. So I will beat him again and I will be the next champion for several years. He's got it all figured out and look who's in attendance.
Felice Herring from the UFC. Also, Juliana Pena. Yeah, Felice has a, a kickboxing background. I know she's a big kickboxing fan, and she always supports what? here in Chicago. And plenty to like so far tonight. Round one of this contest was fantastic. They slowed down the second round, but here we are in the third and final round. Important to note that Tong Chai was deducted a single point in the second round. So even if you run one round two, Joe, it was a 9-9 round. Yeah, the first round was close, but it was Myrtle really doing a good job at the end after he got hurt. But I still don't understand why Tong Chai's strategy is to continually throw knees in the clinch. He was doing so much good damage on the outside with his kicks. Even with Myrtle, Myrtle should try to keep that distance, kind of keep that space, keep using his jab and straight punches, because he knows Tong Chai has to come forward. So he's successful when he's throwing straight punches and constantly keeping distance. Landed a good uppercut there. And when it comes to punches, Grunhart will win this out. The tie terminator is down but not out as the predator from Holland homes in. Myrtle utilizing the upper touch and hooks. Down he goes again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's all over. Myrtle, the predator, Grunhardt with another knock. Well, the 37th of his professional career. Well done, Myrtle. He was having a, a little bit of a hard time in the beginning with those kicks, but he really utilized that boxing and those uppercuts and those hooks in that third round. Well done, Myrtle Grunart, to expose the boxing of Tom Chai. Here's the first knockdown, Joe. It was Myrtle getting on the inside, mixing in big left hooks and uppercuts. Tong Chai couldn't handle those constant left hooks, putting him to the to the mat. The second knockout, that's when Myrtle was mixing in those uppercuts and hooks again. Not stopped, and that was it for Tong Chai. Couldn't handle that constant pressure and boxing of Myrtle. Myrtle grew it hard. Sometimes it takes guts, and that's what he showed us tonight. We'll make it official when we return. Welcome back here to the Sears Center. Myrtle Gruenhardt just picked up the fifth knockout of his glory career, the 37th overall. And this fight was a lot of Tong Chai really trying to come in and use his knees. And in, in the beginning of the first round, he, he really hurt Myrtle low, but Myrtle got a little bit frustrated and started exchanging big punches. And that's where he knew he had to get this fight. 
did a good job at constantly keeping space and throwing vicious multiple punch combinations. Straight up the middle from Grunhardt. And it was that non-stop straight punching that really set up those inside boxing and knees of Myrtle. But Tongcha had no answer for the boxing. And that's one of the biggest differences you're going to see between Muay Thai and kickboxing is that boxing um, aspect in kickboxing. And Myrtle did a good job at utilizing it, dropping Tong Chai and getting his TK, uh, KO victory. Brunhardt promised a spectacular knockout tonight, and he delivered it, ladies and gentlemen, as we look at our final statistics. 46 total strikes landed for Gruenhart. Surprisingly, Tung Chai landing 54. And it was those boxing and the punches that did the most damage. Here's Tim Hughes now with the official finish. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. Our referee, Paul Nichols, steps in and waves this contest off with an official time of 1 minute 45 seconds of that third and final round, declaring your winner by technical knockout, Mertel Grunhardt.